Hi guys, I'm Maya and for today's video I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup routine. I have done a few of these in the past but they're really old and outdated and like Ugh, horrible. <laughs> so I'm here today with an updated version. This is a makeup look that I wear pretty much every day. It's what I wear to six form mainly because it's really quick and simple to do on a morning but still looks absolutely gorgeous and flawless and I'm just in love with this. <laughs> so let's get into the video. I'll zoom you in now so you can see how I got this face. Also about the green hair, the elephant in the room. It was pretty when I first dyed it. It was like turquoise blue, oh very mermaidy. But now it's faded into this <laughs> So for the primer that I use every single day at Sixth Form is the Benefit Professional. I just absolutely love this. It's great for oily skin and it just helps my makeup stay on all day, which is exactly what I want for Sixth Form. And I'm just going to massage this into my skin, especially my oily T-zone. My skin's been breaking out like hell recently, as you can tell. It's been really mega spotty and ugh. I think it's because of the weather. It does this a lot. <laughs> Now onto my foundation kind of step. It's not really foundation that I use. It is the Max Factor CC Cream in Fair. I just absolutely adore this. And stays on all day like the primer, which is essential for six form life. I don't use much, only a little bit because I don't really want to be a cake face. But I just dot this around my face, again focusing on my problem areas. And I blend it all in with a Real Techniques buffer brush, which I've started to get back into recently. Now once all of that CC cream has been blended in to make my nice base, I take my favourite concealer of all time which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral and I like to use this as kind of a highlight even though it's not that much of a highlight with the colour and everything. This concealer is my absolute favourite concealer. It is genuinely so good. It has the best coverage, it's so creamy and it's just obvious why it gets so many rave reviews. It's just so gorgeous. The downside of it is the price though. So if you get like a Debenhams voucher or a House of Fraser voucher or anything like that, something I recommend getting is this concealer. That's what I did. There was no way I was spending £17.50 on a concealer. <laughs> Ah, look like a ghost. That's a Halloween makeup idea. Go as OMG, it's mine because it's practically a ghost. It's really nice coverage, but it's still natural. Like you can see my skin through it. I don't look like a piece of cake. Then I like to set everything. And for that, I use my air spun powder. This is actually my holy grail makeup product. But this is basically a drugstore Laura Mercier setting powder and you can only get it in America. I am so sorry. But mine is in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage and I just like to use this for like baking and setting. But because I'm always in a rush on a morning because I like to lie in and I end up sleeping way too much. I just do a quick dust under the eyes and everywhere to set it all and make it last all day. <laughs> Be careful though, it's very messy. It's everywhere. <laughs> That's a problem with loose powder, it gets absolutely bloody everywhere. And then I just like to take a bigger fluffy brush and just go all over the face. Now that's done diddly dusted, I like to go on to bronzing my face. This is my favourite bronzer of all time, so obviously I'm going to use it. It is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade Sunny. It's so cheap, I think it was like £2.50 from Superdrug or something, but it is just the perfect shade. I just like to go in the hollows of my cheeks and then bring it up onto my temples and the top of my forehead to give me a nice summery glow. Because this is just a great angle to bronze your face. <laughs> my next step is blush. With this you can just do it really quickly. You can go boom, 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 done. I am obsessed with this at the moment. It is the e.l.f. blush in Peachy Keen. This was also in my recent car boot sale haul video. And then just go on the apples of my cheeks really quickly and then it gives such a beautiful colour. I just think this is the absolute perfect colour for pale skin. It's so gorgeous. Then I like to move on to my eyebrows and for this you will know I love it. It is the NYX Eyebrow Kick Powder. Also bear with me on the eyebrow situation. I'm trying to grow them out a little bit more so they don't look like an algebra question. As a lot of people have pointed out, thanks for that. <laughs> but I just like to fill in the natural shape with the darkest powder and just to brush it out with a little spoolie with this little brush. Just a little self promo. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, my username is here, it's just OMG, it's my, you'll be able to find it really quickly. Make sure to follow me because I post a lot of pictures of makeup and cats 
and the sky. <laughs> I think my eyebrows actually turned out really good because I'm really useless at eyebrows, so I'm really proud. And I've recently become obsessed with setting my eyebrows with this. It is the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I just find it makes my really, really fine, sparse eyebrows look like there's more hair there. <laughs> it just makes them look really flawless and like Instagram badass. There we go. <laughs> okay, now onto my eyeballs. I start off with eyeshadow and I use the Makeup Revolution Beyond Flawless palette. It just has the most gorgeous colours in the actual world. Like, that is heaven. Just for my everyday sixth form look, I start off with this kind of matte skin tone-ish colour all over the lid just to even out the veiny stuff on my lids. And I just do this from all over the lid up to the brow bone. My MAC Pro Longwear Eyeshadow in One To Watch is just a really lovely warm transition colour that I like to put in the crease and a bit above because I've got quite hooded eyes so if you put it a bit above it makes your eyes look bigger. <laughs> now I've got a bit of warmth to my eyes I like to add this kind of mauve purpley colour to the crease because I just love purple eyeshadow it goes so well with my green eyes and I just like purple. <laughs> So I just gradually add this in the kind of outer V and into the crease to give a really nice kind of purple, subtle, smoky look. So it's like really wearable and it's really quick to do in the morning as well. I also like to add a bit of the MAC one to watch under the lash line just to bring the whole smoky look together. I hate doing this step but it just really ties it together so I make a sacrifice for beauty. Next is eyeliner, but this is no usual eyeliner. This is Mali Eyelining System in crisp black. It's not liquid, as you may think, because that kind of takes ages on a morning. It is powder, but it is really, really pigmented and it actually stays on for ages. So I just like to do a bit of this on the lash line to make it more defined, but still really natural. It's gorgeous. Just right on the lash line to make it look thicker and nothing above, just to make it a bit more natural. And just with the excess powder that I have on my brush, I'm just going to run it along my lower lash line to make that look thicker as well. That was a mouthful. And that is eyeshadow done. I think it looks really pretty and lovely. And next is mascara. For this, I just use my L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara. It's just a really natural one that gives a lot of length and definition at the same time. I just absolutely love it, so I use it every day. It's amazing how much definition and length it can give with one layer. I love this stuff. <gasps> trying to contain my frustration right now but now I guess we are on our final step which is the mouth Miss Smackers and the thing that I've been using every day for six form is one of my new favorites it is the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip color in the shade Seduction it's just such a gorgeous nude color and as it said it is a matte liquid lipstick so it stays on like an indestructible robot on your face during school. I hate the smell of this though, it's so sickly, but it's worth it, it's worth it. I just think this lip colour works so well for pale skin and it just looks so flawless. So this is my finished everyday makeup look. I just think it is so simple to do and really quick to do but still so flawless and looks so lovely. So yeah, I'm just going to zoom you out a bit now. <laughs> I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow my Instagram and my Snapchat and make sure to like this video and subscribe to me if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Goodbye! OMG, it's Maya. She has sorted out a certain attire with makeup moments, lifestyle too You'll never get bored OMG, it's Maya